morning. Your psyche only wants to be long overnight in this market. It's a good psyche. All right, this is out tomorrow morning. We'll see what this does. Don't know if it gaps up, gaps down. This reports tomorrow morning. Now we know. Look, this didn't work today. I saw, you know what? I saw this this morning. I thought normally in a normal environment, I'd like this, but not this one. Isn't that interesting? This just did exactly what I just was talking about five minutes ago. Again, stock's lower. Should have fallen today. Gap down. I think it was a downgrade. You know, market strong, flipped. No, we let it be. But this does report tomorrow. That, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not saying short all these things that are weak because it's the only way to, to, to get any of these is overnight. Um, or for the bigger moves, I mean. But I'm saying that I've noticed that. And I'm, I'm not saying to go short overnight at all. You should be long overnight if you're overnight anything. But I'm saying that it's something I've noticed. And there are people that might that might be short some of these things overnight, but I think mostly it's selling action that's coming in and creating the gaps and they just keep following down and it's really not made for good shorts for people that are day traders on, in that regard, unless they're really solid, solidly weak which this was on Friday, and this really still is today. And I don't know if this follows through today or not, but it's lower. In fact, let's look at Walmart. So getting back to what I was saying earlier um, about the last month, the, uh, the other thing I noticed too, oh, this is just a little tiny pull in here. Um, the other thing I noticed too, I was thinking about the last month. Oh, uh, where's that one? Where's the one from last week? Oh gosh, what is it? Where was what was the one we did Thursday? I can't even remember now. <sighs> it starts with a C. What was Thursdays? That's right. I'm like it's up too early this morning. Let's see where this is at. Anyways, you don't deviate from what you know when what you know works. So you can go long good bullish gaps if you, if you want to be aggressive in this kind of market. But they're not going to work all the time either. It's really about the quality of the gap. You've got to rate it. So I'm going to be you know on point to have at least two watches every day. Uh, today, really, it was HSBC and MRK, but I thought that the MRK was going to work, so we focused on it, but I was ready to flip right over to the HSBC if, in fact, that didn't set up. It did. So, look, this is still lower. This had a, a crazy move right into the close on Friday. It was almost ridiculous, um, but it did work as a secondary trade then Friday. I mean, Thursday. And this is still a week now. 101.15, 101.05. I mean, I wouldn't do anything here today, but it's definitely weak. So it looks like this is trying to get going in the 15-minute journey. Women's in it. Anybody else? Looks good. Anyway, some days you you know you some days you get up. And this is the last thing I'm going to say, and I'll let everybody go. Oh, big fudge is in again. Big Fudge, are you listening to me? Are you there? You've got to sign in with your email. I've noticed you don't put your email in the hot com room. Can you please start to use your email that you're registered with starting tomorrow? I've noticed that you don't do that. Everybody else does, if you can please start to do that. Um, the 24 is the, 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 the uh, confirmation. If you're ready in on the 5, I said it was aggressive, but it actually looks good. Anyways, when you trade... There's a, there's a winner and a loser in every one. So you kind of have to go in with the attitude that you want to win. And, and that doesn't mean that if you get up in the morning and take a trade and it loses that, that you have to do a second trade every day, if that happens. Uh, in an ideal world, like MRK, we do the first trade, we make money, and we stop. I hope we continue that this whole week. But I'm saying that there's always a winner and there's always a loser. So you kind of going to have to be in your mind that you are determined to win. Now, we want to win all the time. I wish that was possible. It, it's, it's, it's just not the odds of the market. But if our objective is to win a lot, then the days where something doesn't work in our favor immediately right away, we kind of have to fight back to win. And I've got it in me to do it. 
granted now it is hard sometimes to run the room like that um but i do the best i can i do i do as good as anybody but you know if you yourself feel deflated if you take a trade in the morning and it stops you the first trade then you got to come to grips with that either you're risking too much money in the trades that you feel deflated from losing in one trade or i don't know you know i don't know what to tell you wait for the later trade then wait for the later setup do one in the five do the, do the second trade wait for the confirmation if you feel like that so bottom line is that there's always a winner there's always a loser and if you want to be a winner then you have to have that attitude even if things don't go your way right out of the game but it's earning season and the good news is there's plenty of things to do it's not like there's not a lot to do there's lots to do every day every day between now and really for the next you know six weeks or whatever so if anybody did a second trade of this it did not get hit yet on the 15 minute if you're in it stuff has to be 85 i don't like it if it goes over there so i said if you're doing the five it's aggressive it looked good for a minute ago now the five this is green here on the 15 minute at 10 o'clock and this is nowhere near closing it's only 1006 doesn't close till 10 15 so you got you got almost 10 minutes here to wait for the sucker to do something so make sure the stops in and i'm not saying it goes poop but I'm saying, be careful. This was aggressive to do. Let's look at the market. So getting back, momentum, momentum, momentum. We're doing it into the momentum if it's a good gap. And that's the way you make money. And boy, oh boy, you really saw that last Friday. I mean, you really, really saw that in such a massive way last Friday that I don't, I don't know why anybody would ever trade any way other than that. I don't know why anyone would ever, 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 ever and you look at the market or any one of these strong stocks, I mean, you know, we like to short, but but actually you could you could look at any one of these things that are just absolute pieces of crap. You could you could say the same thing. I mean, some of these charts are so obvious that the that A, you can make money in the market, and B, the only way anyone should ever even consider doing it is by doing it into it with, with the momentum. And this doesn't mean trend trading. But look, this is lower too. In fact, anyone is still is anyone still in this put? You could have done it and been out that day. Is anyone still in the put for CMG? Because if you are, it got to the 270. This this is just keep keep going. 250 looks in sight for this baby too. Because once it breaks 275, it's gonna be a little slippery slope again. Is anyone in this put? This is another one. Look, the momentum is down in this. So obvious here. really hard to, to, to make any money if you're against what's happening if you're against who's in control it is so hard to make money and if you're with it it's so easy and Friday was a great example of that your flat M what happened to it oh it did go it did go I didn't like it then when it pushed back but it did work this is gyro's call good job gyro hit his pit this is all him Mary made money in it I guess koala bear made money in it it did break 19 too Man, everybody loves gyro. <laughs> Any questions from anyone at all? I'm glad you guys like gyro. I like gyro too. Gyro will be away the week of Thanksgiving. Is that right? When are you going to Hawaii? If you're listening... Tell me, and I'll tell the room, or you got to text me the dates, I forget. 15th to the 26th. Mark Mobile, you've been away. Jared did awesome last Friday. Wow. Listen, you guys are going to get him again Thursday. I'm on TV Thursday. Jairo's running the room Thursday. Jairo fans. to the 26th so you're leaving before Thanksgiving actually all right who's still in the MRK we'll quickly look at the market spy is lagging don't think it makes up for the high today the queues already are again big week here for earnings so we'll see what happens uh, we'll look for short, weak stuff like usual. And if we end up looking for longs, so be it. 
a Korean Thanksgiving. Do they still eat turkey? <laughs> Gyro's girlfriend is Korean. Soon to be fiance. All right, under 24, this looks good. All right, listen, everybody, have a great day. Everyone should be up. Some people did the first one, some people did the second one, some people are in this. You'll have a great time, Gyro. And you're not allowed to talk to any insurance companies on the phone while you're away. <laughs> Turn your phone off. <laughs> Listen, have a great day, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow morning, bright and early. We'll see what we get. A million things out tonight, tomorrow. I don't know what. Um, nothing just strikes me like crazy except for UAA. And UAA will probably go with it. And, and considering the pushback today, if they gap down, they might be good ones. They might be really good ones. Will they work? Probably if they gap down based on this look of the chart here today because the pushback was today in this. So this actually would be good if it, if it gapped down today, but I don't know if it will. Because remember, it could gap up. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. Good luck, everybody that's in this. It's working. It hit now on the 15. There it goes. First target's low of the day, then 54. You might get a buck out of this or more from in here. And this is a good stop. Just going to call it a day here. Think the easy money is the best on a Monday. And I'll see what we get tomorrow morning. Halloween. All right. Have a good day, everyone.